Christmas. Survival Islanders back again with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Links to those will be in the description. So, we are here today to fix a certain issue that a lot of people are having with our lobby teleporters. Um, so apparently to people, there is an issue with um, being able to leave this and also uh, maybe an issue with teleporting and then uh, people want to know how to change this. I thought I made that clear in the last video where I did an updated version. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you how to do all three of those. So first up, we're gonna start with the leaving because that seems like everybody's biggest deal. So uh, first I'm gonna show you that it does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, okay, so, and by the way, R6 and R15 do not matter for this. So it does not matter of the type. So look, I'm right here, I left. So if that does not work for you, I will clearly show you why. And I, like I said, I'm sorry, I thought I fixed that in the last video with the latest model. Leave room part. This is what you're missing, and if I hit F and I just went over to it, this is where I went. You see where I went? So, it's specifically written in the script as leave room part. If you want to find that part of the code and edit that, and then that you, you can make this, whatever. But, uh, so if we go ahead and I remove this, new part, I'll put it right there. I will even make it visible. I will then anchor it. I will now call it a name, lowercase l, everything else, sort of uppercase, leave, uppercase r, room, uppercase p, part. Now, I will rejoin. I will enter this. I now have the leave button, and now I'm here. Okay? That's how you solve problem number one. Problem number two. You're unable to go to the game you want. Okay, well that's very simple to fix. So, you see this, you see this right here, lobby test, this is my game ID, this is the center. You see I have a bunch of other games connected to this. So, okay messages, thank you. So, I went up here to games. Now. This doesn't apparently appear for you people, but if you hit game settings, and then you see the thing called places, I'm assuming you can't see it, whereas I can see it. But then I clicked on places. Then I created a new place. I'm circling the create button. I created a new place. There's three little dots by the name of said place. I want to edit said place. When you edit said place, you can change the number of an optimized max amount of people. So if I want to make that one, so I can have one player, as I'm sure you can see actually over here now, but you can't see this, one player. I switch that number to one, and they're max players. Then I hit save. Now, inside of the script, touch gate script. This ID is the place you want to go. So to how do I get that? I have, let's say I want to go to lobby test player number one. Right click. I'm right clicking lobby test that I labeled as one player. You're going to have rename, copy ID, view history, and remove from game. Well, obviously we want copy ID to clipboard. So now that I will just erase this and show you what I have done, I will now right click as I have first copied and then hit the paste button. There you go, that is my thing. Now, to also specify, this is my main game, and as I've already said, you got to create a place for it to go to. You do not want, ha want to have that place active. You do not need it active. You just need the lobby to be the only active game. So then, if I were to go... Now, I'm in studio. It will not teleport me. So I could try, and it's just going to say HTTP error because I'm in studio. You can't, you can't teleport between games in studio. That's not how that works. That is how you fix problem number two. Problem number three. Not really a problem. But I'm going to open TouchGate script. Now, I have a one player, right? Well, why don't I make a four player? There you go. I will call this four player. So, the first thing I'm going to do just to prepare for it is I'm going to go to the bill. I open up the script, but I'm going to go to the billboard part keep opening until I see players. 
Scroll down in the properties tab where I see player zero out of one, and I'm just gonna make that zero out of four so it displays properly. Number two, as you see within the TouchGate script, which I will then reopen just, just because. I will then change this one that I see right here under players dot 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 list dot dot backslash one to backslash four. Then I will scroll all the way down. Now, if you want to edit the amount of time all the way down to the bottom of the script, you see a timer where it says equals 15 seconds. Please change that to whatever you want because they all count down 15 seconds. You can go to 20, you can go to one second. I don't care what you do. Scroll up a tiny bit, tiny bit. You see where it says if already exists equals false, then if ha uh, hashtag list greater th is less than one, please change that less than one to a less than four. Now I have four players. That is where you go to change that. And as I rejoin, as you can see, I now have a four player option. And as you can also see, I did not create another part, but it will then teleport me to said leap part. It teleported me to said leap part. That is all we got time for today. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any other questions about any other scripting video you've ever made with a problem with it, please let us know. I will leave an updated model of this, including the four player one, for free. Because we're nice people. <laughs> So, again, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them in the comments below. And we will see you all again in our next post of videos.